Hey guys, um, gonna do a review over the SOG Trident. Um, you guys saw my unboxing video, and uh, <clears throat> my initial impressions were very good about this knife. Now I've been carrying it now for you know a couple weeks, um, using it to cut stuff, my cut test video, and um, comparing it against my other um, tactical folders and stuff. And I was going to do a really quick review over the key things I think are important about the knife and give you guys my impressions. And that's about it. So let's get right into it. Um, let's see. The biggest thing a lot of people talk on is this little cutout here, how they don't think it's effective in cutting. And I personally am going to have to disagree. Um, I think you get pretty good purchase when you're trying to cut something with it and the knife is definitely sharp enough to cut anything you put in there so um, it's definitely a cool little feature um, the locking mechanism I don't see any reason to uh, super glue it closed or shut because it doesn't move unless I move it so far so it's cool a good thing to have in case like you have little kids in the house or something you don't want them messing with it I like the arc actuator lock or whatever you call it um, I really like it's how it's kind of OCD friendly. You can just play with it. <laughs> if you're sitting there and you just have nothing to do, you can play with a little with a little lock. Um, deployment on this knife, it's uh, pretty freaking quick. I uh, really like how fast it deploys. Um, let's see. The pocket clip, when I got it, it was a little loose, but I tightened it up, and I'm really liking it a lot. I found that when it's in the pants, say this, so say this is in the pants, um, if you just lift up on the edge there and then pull up, instead of just grabbing here and pulling up, it uh, comes up very easily and um, isn't as big a deal when it carries deep. Because you know, some people said it's hard to get out of the pocket, and it's not. Um, I love this pattern on it because it really does give you pretty good... Um, grip and I love the blade shape the blade shape I mean this it's like a modified Bowie and I love the blade shape on this thing and it's razor razor sharp this is probably one of the sharpest knives I've owned right out of the box um, the jipping right here <clears throat> I've heard people say it's not very effective and again gonna have to disagree it's very very um, effective and um, functional so, I like it. Um, this knife in the hand, very comfortable. Uh, from watching other videos and stuff, I thought it was going to be pretty big. And really, it's it's not that big a, a big a knife. Um, when it's in your pocket, it's so light, you can't tell it's really there. And it's just really a nice knife. Um, one thing I do have to talk about is I don't like how you get smudges on the blade from your finger, the little fingerprints and stuff. But... You know, they do have the option for the black, fully black blade and the black blade with the tiger stripes. So you can't avoid it by getting that. But I just thought the the satin finish, even though it gets fingerprints, when it doesn't have prints on it, it's really, really pretty. <laughs> um, and I just I like the way it looks, how it clashes with the black handle and the uh, matches with the uh, trident or the SOG uh, pocket clip. So yeah, so that's pretty much the knife, guys. Uh, got any questions, just just ask. And please subscribe and comment. And if you're looking for a tactical folder or a general EDC knife, it's not a bad little choice. So uh, yeah, 50 bucks. And you can get yourself a SOG Trident. Dun-da-da-da. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.